Hello, mother. Da, what is it? I have a request. Proceed. I'm simply requesting that you terminate the relationship with Janet so me and Riley can live happily ever after. No. I had a feeling that you would say that, so I have put together a presentation to demonstrate my rebuttal. This should be good. Go ahead. Okay. Sergey. Oh, da. This is you and me. Happy, content, and carefree. I have a little more muscle than that, but keep going. This is you and Janet. Happy in love, but this is me. Sad, alone, miserable, desperate, dejected, afraid. Okay, thesaurus, let's keep it moving. Okay, next. This is me. Young, full of life and promise. And this is you. Old, decrepit, frail. So close to death, you can see the Grim Reaper waving at you through the peephole in your front door. Let's get to the point. Flash forward to your inevitable soon demise. Janet is sad for the rest of her short and miserable life. How old do you think we are? I am sad. Everyone is sad. But this could all be avoided if you let me and Riley be happy together forever. Is that me in a casket? Hmm? Oh. Da. So let me get this straight. You want me, a single mother from Russia, who came over and had her husband leave her and left her with her two children who never thought she would find love again, but then she found it again with a woman that finally loved her back and she is so happy, but you want me to give all that up so my four-year-old son can live out his first puppy love? Yeah, pretty much. No. Thanks for bringing the boys and diamond kettle. It's been a while. Oh, yeah, we took a trip down south to go see the boy's father. He's been so locked up. Oh, yeah, with work and stuff? Oh, in jail. <coughs> what? Oh, don't worry, it was just for theft. Ah. Uh, oh, of a minor. <coughs> oh, league baseball collectible. It was one of a kind. Oh, you need to work on where you pause in your sentences. Oh, a collectible. Oh, well, that's not so bad. <laughs> yeah, and international tax fraud. <coughs> nice seeing you, comrades. Da. Hey, ain't no thing. <laughs> yeah, so where's that little cute blondie? <laughs> yeah, Texas and I got a bet going to see which one of us can get her first. <laughs> what? I said Texas and Ned, I got a- he heard what you said. I think he's just trying to refrain from putting you in an untimely grave or... He is constipated? Either way, I would not stick around. Riley, can you get that? Yeah. Hey oh, Scout Weeder Boone. Hey there, kiddo, your mom around? Maybe. Uh get can I see her? Mom! Much obliged. You look like someone on TV. <laughs> well, I get that a lot. Usually Matthew McConaughey from Dallas Buyers Club. No. Well, or Tom Selleck? No. More like every main suspect on Dateline. Hmm. <laughs> you find a little maggot, aren't you? My Nona says not to trust anybody with a mustache. Well, your Nona is misinformed. Trust me. I don't. Because you have a mustache. Sorry, sir. Boom? Did Riley do something bad at day camp? No. No. She's a treat. I merely came here to inquire about taking you out onto the town. Are you asking me out? That I am. I'm seeing someone, so. Oh, well, can you see someone else, too? <laughs> you can see the door slam in your face, all right? Playing hard again. I like that. <sighs> so weird. It's the mustache. Can't trust them. Nope. Mm, you want to hear something funny? Duh. Scout Leader Boone came here the other day and he asked me out. <laughs> he came here. Yeah. <laughs> to ask you out on a date. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he knows we're together. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I told him, but he didn't care. <laughs> oh, he did not even care. <laughs> right? Like, oh my god, like really? I don't <laughs> I don't I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> 
too hilarious. Yeah, too hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. I know. <laughs> you know what else is hilarious? Mm. What? <laughs> the idea of him walking through the forest and me accidentally mistaking him for the vile, rabid, beta male coyote that he is. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina, I'm gonna need you to say out loud that you will not hurt him. Oh, I will not hurt him. Thank you. I will make it quick and painless. Katrina, no. Oh, I kid. You're no fun. Riley, I am ready for my date night. How do I look? Whoa, you look beautiful. Oh, pfft. stop. No, like, I don't even recognize you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you usually look so tired and dull. What? And you don't smell like spicy juice or sadness. I usually smell like sa sadness has a smell. And your skin is glowing. Uh, is it not always glowing? <laughs> Let's just say sometimes when you're sweeping, I check your pulse to make sure you're not dead. So I'm going to take that as a no. Is that your Halloween costume? Halloween? No, I'm going to... What do you think I'm trying to be for Halloween? A catfish. Okay. I'm here. Oh, Riley, who's your pretty friend? Who are you talking? It's me. Oh, wow. I did not even realize you could look like that. Right? Okay, that's it. I'm not going. Thanks for watching the kids for us, Ma. Bah. Oh, no problem. Honestly, it's nice to get out of the house. Ernie's hearing's getting so bad when he listens to his music, it makes my living room sound like a goddamn mosh pit. <laughs>
I know. It's my new name. My maid from a couple years ago's name was Chriselle, and I just thought it was so unique and different, so I made her legally change her name, and I took her name and legally changed it to Chriselle. And then I put in a request to the President of the Americas to make every other Chriselle change their name because I wanted to be the only one, but apparently you can't do that. So instead, I put the sparkle emojis on both sides of my name legally. So instead of Chriselle, it's Chriselle. Well, it's lovely to have you in the neighborhood. Yeah, uh, would you like a beverage or something? Water, sparkling. We have tap. The last time I had tap water was when I was physically dying of dehydration at Ibiza and they were all out of Boston Fiji water bottles. So this sweaty guy cracked out on Molly, put a beer bong of tap water into my throat. I would have rather died. Pass. We're gonna go to the park if you wanna join. Is there an after party at least? N no. Ew. Not to be rude, but these people are more lame than my prize pony I had to put down last week. We're gonna go to the. <laughs> 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 Not to be rude, but these people are more lame than the prize pony I had to put down. <laughs> I was physically dying of dehydration at a rave in Ibiza. And they were all a <laughs> So it's New Year's Eve. What do you want to do? Well, technically, New Year's is kind of like Russian Christmas. Oh, I had no idea. How do you celebrate? What do you do? We eat, drink, and party excessively. And we also have terrifying hairy fat man, Diet Marosa who delivers presents to children who have assholes. So, so it's the same. Eh, but better, because it's Russian. Right, right. Oh, hey, Bex. Hey. Oh, Bex is here. What? Moms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on a sweater already. The moms. Eschetti. What brings you here? Just thought I'd invite you guys to my band. You're not my dad's New Year's Eve gig tonight. Duh! Oh, that sounds fun! Uh, and uh, where, where is it? It's at the old burned out abandoned Applebee's on 6th Street. That sounds about right. And uh, are the songs appropriate for, for the kids? Yeah. We do a lot of covers, but just change the words. So instead of Stacy's mom has got it going on, it's my stepdad, Tom, manipulates my mom. And we do some original songs too. Like, don't tell me what to do. Your mustache is sus. And the pain was gone until you bone my mom. Okay, yeah, I think, I think we'll, uh, we'll think about it. The Yeah. Okay, here's my band's flyer if you change your mind. Oh. You used the wrong your in You're Not My Dad. Okay. And thank God for that. Hey, Miss Amy. Thank you for coming in, Mrs. and Mrs. Ah, my last name is none of your business. Janet and Katrina is just fine. Come to think of it, I don't even know your last name. Good. Right, so Riley had show and tell today and the assignment was to bring in something that means a lot to her parents oh i didn't even know she was doing that <laughs> clearly so most kids brought in family heirlooms like jewelry instruments photos okay all right um but riley um brought in uh, you know what let me read to you what she presented before she presented the item okay <clears throat> This is my mom's favorite thing. It's small and hard to find. It makes a lot of noise and it makes people make a lot of noise. Ah, uh, oh my God. Oh, what? And then she proceeded to say, actually, it makes people squeal. Oh my God. Which, which was one of the words we used in last week's spelling test. So there's that. 
What 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 color what color was this item? Co I don't know why that that it, it was it's black. A black one? Don't we even have a black one? No, I don't think so. We had to return a black one because it was white. This Too big. is the item that Riley brought in. A taser. Oh, thank oh, God. Oh, that hard back? <laughs> that was close one. Oh, God. man, because we thought, we thought. What did you think it was? Nothing. Nothing at all. I was done to bring the magic wand from your top drawer that sounds like an electric toothbrush, but it was too high to reach. But you could reach the taser? Yeah. We're gonna go. Yep, and I'll take that. Oh, I could report you to the police, you know. You don't even know our last names. What? And I am holding a taser. Okay. Carry on. Okay, ladies, and we're thrusting. We're thrusting. We're thrusting. We're thrusting. And moving on to the speed bags. Speed bags. Speed bags. Speed bags. What speed bags. is going on here? Try to get in shape. Okay, now we're kneading the balls. Kneading the balls. Because my doctor says consuming excessive amounts of wine and pizza and watching too much white trashy women on TV isn't good for my health. Oh, but selling Sunset is so entertaining. Why are you here? For moral support. And you clearly need somebody to take this off your hands. And you? We have a bet going that she's only gonna last a week. Duh. What? I said four. Okay, well... Thank you. Thanks. Janet, you know I was ultimate group fitness hit instructor back in Russia. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And hit high intensity interval training, right? Yes, it's high intensity idiot training. Well, I don't, I don't think that oh, that's- Oh, that's perfect for you. Thank you, Ma. Essentially, I scream at you like you're an idiot until you're in shape. <laughs> that can't work. Misha, music. Where did the music What are you doing standing around with that flat ass? Squat, squat, squat! To train. This isn't gonna work. Squat or you will end up like your mother. She's not wrong. Needing the balls. Get it right in there. Up in there. Come on. Those knees work. <laughs> okay, Janet, you ready? Yeah, one second. I'm on the phone with Ma. What's up, Ma? Hey, I'm in your house. You're in that house? How did you get in the house? You know, you should really start locking your doors. You don't know what kind of Looney Tune character could just come into your house. I have a pretty good idea, actually. And there was a package at your front door. I brought it in. Can I open it? No. I'm gonna open it. Don't laugh. Oh, wh look at you! What, what's the what's the occasion? Ah, Valentine's Day is coming up, so I got this some Adormi sleepwear to stay comfy in. Oh yeah, that's where I got the sweater. Actually, they got some they got some nice stuff. Da, and I thought we could order pizza. Okay. Watch movies. I'm listening. Then kick the kids out of the house. This is why I love you. And I may have ordered you some Adormi intimate sleepwear that should be coming anytime now. Oh. Oh, oh no. What? The package. Who ordered this? This is nice. Ma, oh my god. Why oh my. are you wearing that? Well, we're basically the same size, so I just thought I'd try it on for you to see if it fits. And look at this. I'm not gonna look at anything. Just just get out, please. Get, and, and keep it. Keep it. Just remember, you got it from your mama. We're gonna need to order some new Adormi product. Duh. They have hundreds of more styles and sizes online. So, great. Alright, kids, this is the time for bed. No! One more episode, please! Oh, please! Yeah, just one more! What do I always say? Begging will get you nowhere, only bribes and technical, technical negotiation. negotiation. Da. So what will it be? We will do the dishes tomorrow. Not good enough. We'll make you breakfast tomorrow! And expose myself to five-year-olds cooking? I don't have a death wish. Next. Nerf gun battle. I am intrigued. What are the terms? 
You hit all of us first, we have to go to bed. We hit you first, we get to watch another show. Theo. So when do we start? Scatter! I think we lost her. Yeah. Boo. <gasps> Riley. I'm right here, Misha. I need to tell you. Something very important. Okay. I don't have much time, but I need to tell you how I truly feel. Are you constipated? What? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Of constipation? Not from the bullet I just took for you. The plastic nerve bullet? Damn it. Ha! Suck it, losers. Bedtime. Okay, and Misha's constipated. No, again? <laughs>